this 10 minute yoga practice is better than a cup of coffee. Hi, I'm Brandy from Williamsburg, Virginia, and you are practicing Fight Master Yoga. Welcome to Fight Master Yoga, a place to deepen your practice. When you commit to this channel, you'll begin to see beauty in every aspect of your life. Hi, I'm Leslie Fightmaster. Begin sitting up nice and tall with your hands together at your heart. Take a big breath. May your practice help to bring you into the present moment, quiet your mind, and give you all the energy you need for today. Release your hands and roll yourself forward. Sitting back on your heels. Keep your spine nice and long. Inhale to sweep your arms out, around, and up. Be mindful to keep your front ribs in. Exhale, palms facing out. Take your hands behind you. Roll your shoulders back, interlace fingers or thumbs. And now take your left ear to your left shoulder. Center on your inhale. Exhale, right ear to right shoulder. Inhale, center. Release the hands and walk yourself forward. Tuck your toes under, sitting back on your heels again. If it gets too intense, then get up off your heels. This will really wake you up. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, sweep them halfway down with right over left. Take your hands to your shoulders or palms touching. Eagle arms, chest open, shoulder blades away from the ears. Make sure your ribs are still drawing in. Breathe. Come up off the heels. Inhale, sweep the arms out, around, and up. Sit back down on your heels. Exhale, take them halfway down and now left arm over right. Touch your shoulders, or if you can, take your palms together. Lift your elbows. Gently lift your chest, but allow the shoulder blades to draw down toward the waist. Breathe. Steady breaths in and out through the nose. Come up off your heels, untuck your toes, onto your knees, inhale, arms reach, exhale, take them halfway out, bring left arm forward, right arm back, but bring your right hip forward as well. You can look back towards your right hand, but keep the hips level, inhale, back to center, reach the arms, exhale, arms halfway down, right arm forward, left arm back, but now keep your left hip moving forward. Don't let the hip twist as well. Twist from above your waist, looking toward the left hand. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, and take your hands to your hips. Roll your shoulders back. Begin to lean back gently as you lengthen sitting bones to backs of knees. Lift your chest, let your head go back if your neck's okay with it. Inhale, come up. Sit back down on your heels and then come into a child's pose. You can take your knees a little bit wider. Inhale, making your way back to hands and knees with wrists in front of the shoulders. Now stretch into extended child's pose. Spread your fingers, press into the base of your fingers. Come onto your knees. Inhale, bring chest forward, lift chin and tailbone. Exhale, round the back, chin toward chest, hips back to the heels. Stretch out your back. Inhale again, coming forward a little longer. Inhale as you bring the chest forward, shoulder blades toward waist. A little longer exhale as you take chin to chest and slowly return hips to heels. And once again, inhale, longest breath. Bring the heart forward through the gates of the arms as you gently look up. Exhale, long breath as you chin toward chest, hips toward heels, stretch out your spine. Keep pressing away from the mat with your hands. Come on up to your hands and knees, turn your inner elbows forward, tuck your toes. Stretch up and back for down dog. Arms, shoulders distance, feet hips width, and then begin to bend one knee and the other as you stretch out your hamstrings and your calves. The breath nice and steady, bending both knees and then slowly start to press your thighs back and then reach your heels toward the floor. They may or may not touch, it doesn't matter. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, step it by the right hand with your left knee down. Pat up the knee if it needs any padding. 
fingers on the front of the thigh interlaced right above the knee. Now press back just a little to open the chest. Inhale, reach both arms up, spin the triceps forward. Keep lifting your frontal hip bones toward the belly. Left arm down, sweep your right arm in a circle. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, sweep it around, pull that right hip back. And now inhale, straighten the front leg and fold over, keeping your spine nice and long. Step back into plank pose. Slowly lower to your belly, knees can be up or down. Hands by low ribs, peel the chest up for cobra, pull the hands toward the feet. Lower, tuck the toes, knees up or down, press to plank, and then lift your hips into down dog. Inhale, floating the left leg back and up with level hips. Exhale, lightly step it up. Take the right knee down, pad up that knee if it needs any padding. Pull the left hip back. Bring your fingers just above your left knee and lengthen tall through all four sides of your waist. Inhale, sweep up through the arms, spinning triceps forward. Keep the front ribs drawing in. Take your right hand down. Exhale, left arm all the way around in a circle. Keep that left hip pulling back. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, circle it around. Bring the hand down and now inhale to straighten the left leg. Keep pulling your left hip back. Straighten it as much as you will. You can always put your hands on blocks here or rest your hands on your legs. Step to plank and lower through chaturanga shoulders, or sorry, all the way to the belly. Inhale little cobra or a higher cobra roll the shoulders back and down upward dog if it feels okay on your back thighs and knees up exhale lift the hips downward facing dog arms and ears in line come to seated lightly stepping or hopping take your feet flat and lower to your back bring your right ankle just above the left knee and draw the left leg in hold the left shin or behind the leg and draw your right hip forward. Make sure to flex that right ankle, but relax your shoulders. Releasing that, keep the legs the same. Take them over to the left, looking right. If that isn't comfortable, then just take your right leg on top of the left. Either way, turn your belly up toward the ceiling. Back to center, inhale, left ankle just past right knee. Hold on behind the thigh or hold the shin. Relax your jaw, relax your shoulders and breathe. Keeping the legs in the same position, take them to the right. Look over your left shoulder if that's too intense or it's not comfortable and take your left knee on top of the right instead. Turn your belly toward the ceiling for a nice twist. Come to center, hug knees to chest. Take your feet onto the floor, lengthen sitting bones to backs of knees, extend the legs, shoulder blades toward the waist. Close your eyes and relax. Soften around your jaw, your forehead. You can always bend your knees if that's more comfortable. Our quote today comes from Harriet Beecher Stowe. Never give up, for that is just the place and time that the tide will turn. Begin to deepen your breath, stretching arms overhead, and roll to your right. Press yourself up to seated, and bring your hands together. Hands to your forehead, reminding you to have clear and loving thoughts. Hands to heart, reminding you to have clear and loving intentions. Hands to the mouth, reminding you to have clear and loving communication, sending positive energy to all beings everywhere. Namaste. I bet you're feeling really good. If you want to keep going, try this 20-minute video that we created under the pier. People are telling me that they love it. If you're still here, 
The secret word today is energetic, right? Energetic in the comments below.